Hello there and welcome back to another video. This is part four of the how to make a race clicker type game on Roblox. So here guys, in today's video, we are gonna make it we are gonna be making the values which save and load whenever you guys go into the game, for example, stuff like wins, um, and also making like the in-game leaderboard at the top right um, hand of your screen. So this is gonna be quite an exciting video over here. Before I start anything off though, guys, I need to quickly tell you all about my Patreon, where you guys can join for a price of eight pounds per month, guys. Not really too much at all. And with that, guys, you can access all of my roblox studio files which are shown in these videos guys there's literally probably about 100 on them and every single video i upload to the channel guys it is there so make sure you do go ahead and join that guys if you are maybe struggling let's go and go into the video now so guys how exactly are we going to be uh, are we going to make like the, the wins thing which saves and loads well what you guys are going to want to do first things first if you have not already make sure you guys do file and publish to roblox guys make sure that your your game is published to roblox next click on game settings to the top of here guys and you want to select security after that you want to allow um, enable studio access to api services click on save over here okay now that i've done this we are going to create a script inside of service script service and this script is going to be called leader stats um leader stats just over here guys so there we go okay what we are gonna go ahead and do after that is pretty much this so what we are gonna go ahead and do now is um in this we're gonna do local data store um service is equal to game get service data store service then we are gonna do local um we'll just do val um yeah we're gonna do leader that data is equal to data store service um get data store not sorry not get children get data store and then we are going to put in i don't know data over here guys i'm going to tell you guys how this works so pretty much um what we are doing over here is kind of right um i'm going to try and explain it so you guys can all get it no matter what stage you guys are at scripting so imagine you are creating a file on on your computer like a save file and pretty much the data is the, the name of your save file over here guys so if you change this it's going to go ahead and access a new file so maybe uh, let's say i change this to data one that means now it's looking at the data one file not the previous data file so guys that means that now this will be a blank copy and um, all player data will be lost if you guys change this so if you guys want to reset all the players data change the name of this guys but once your game's up and running do not change this unless you guys want to actually wipe everyone's data and if you guys accidentally do that well, all you need to do is just revert that back to the thing that i went um that was inside here before for example data and now it would be looking back at that data file on the computer and it would see all the players data which has been saved under that if you guys kind of get what i mean so yeah guys just change this if you want to wipe the players data if you don't make sure you guys keep that the same next though we are going to do game dot players um dot player added connect function and then inside this guys we are gonna put the player inside these brackets just over here guys okay next we are going to do this we're going to do local leader stats um stats and that's going to be equal to instance dot new we're going to add a folder we are now going to parent this to the player next we are going to do do um local wins and that's going to be equal to instance dot new we are going to put a um int value and we are going to um, put this in the leader stats folder we're going to parent that to leader stats then we want to do wins dot name and we want to actually put this to wins um there we go guys i don't know why that is yellow it wouldn't normally be yellow guys but for some reason it is right now pretty weird and maybe they've just updated it a bit i don't know why but guys normally it'll be blue quite weird guys the wins dot name yeah there we go guys it's blue i don't know why i was yellow for a second anyway guys yeah that's gonna be equal to wins over here okay now that i've done this so we've got the wins thing so we are just gonna be saving wins guys nothing else um to be fair the game actually does have rebirth so maybe i will you know guys we're gonna put in rebirths as well we'll get onto that in a future episode i guess guys so we're gonna do local rebirths and that's gonna be equal to instance.new we're gonna do rebirths um sorry um sorry int value and then we're gonna parent this to the leader stats then we're gonna do rebirths.name and that's gonna be equal to rebirths um next guys we want to add like the 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 top speed and the high score too guys so what we are going to do um yeah to be fair we'll also save high score so we're going to do local high score and that's going to be equal to instance.new int value it's going to be parented to the leader stats folder and then we're going to do high score dot um value 
dot, sorry about dot dot name and that's going to be equal to um and that is going to be equal to uh hi, just high school so high school just to be here guys okay so now we have the four values which we are going to save you got the sorry the three values wins rebirths and high school so how do we actually save and load this data well i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that right now so all you guys need to do here is pretty much this we are going to do um we're going to do local um leader stats um one second instead of doing data over here i'm just going to do data store anyway guys i'm going to go ahead and name this load local leader stats data and that's going to be equal to um leader stats data store then we're going to do get a sync so that means sorry not get children get a sync and then we're going to do player dot user id next guys we want to do um if leader stats data score is not equal to nil then so pretty much guys put in this weird squig squig squiggly line on your keyboard it will be next to the hashtag um anyway guys we're gonna do um wins wins dot value and that's gonna be equal to um lead leader stat data leader stats data and then one after that guys we're gonna do rebirths dot value and that's gonna be equal to leader stats data two and finally guys we're gonna do high score dot value and that's gonna be equal to leader stats data three just to be here guys so now we have loaded in the data how do we save it well guys we are gonna do this we're gonna do game dot players dot player removing that means whenever the player leaves the game we are now gonna connect this function to save the data so of course guys we are gonna put in a player um player in these brackets and then we want to do local values and that's going to be equal to these weird squiggly brackets over here guys after that we want to do four underscore um comma child in pairs then we're going to do player dot leader stats uh leader stats and then get uh get children and then after that we're going to do do next we're going to do table dot insert then we're going to do values and then child dot value guys keep in mind if you are struggling at any point into this video remember you guys can join my patreon account and all you need to do from there is just download this roblox studio file and just copy and paste these scripts into your own game guys and they'll work perfectly fine anyway guys next we're going to do p core function um and then after that guys we inside of this are going to do leader stats data store set a sync player dot user id and then we're gonna assign the values to that um okay guys next we want to do this so this is just gonna help prevent any data losses um a bit better so we're gonna do game bind to close that means whenever the game maybe shuts down unexpectedly unexpectedly um this will run so we are gonna do connect function then we're gonna do for underscore um a comma player in pairs so now guys we're gonna look through every single player that's been in the game so game dot players and get players just for here guys um and then we're gonna do do here and all we need to do next is just copy and paste this in here right now guys there we go so we got this right now if we hopefully join the game we'll see in the top right these three values which is going to be quite nice over here okay never mind i've done something wrong over here guys um okay let me quickly see i think i know what i've done wrong right now guys i have done this um okay Sorry guys, didn't mean to do that over here. It's supposed to be leader stats data instead of leader stats data store. Um, okay guys, we'll join the game again and this should work. Yep, no, never mind guys, apparently not. Let me see what I'm doing wrong over here. <laughs> I must be doing something wrong. Sorry guys, I've literally just realized I forgot to actually name the leader stats folder. I'm so stupid. So guys, we are going to do leader stats dot name. I'm just going to set this to leader stats. Um, why well, I cannot spell today. Leader stats just over here guys okay now when we join the game hopefully hopefully this time it will it will work here we go guys we've got wins we've got rebirths and the high score let me quickly change a few, few of these values and show you guys this working so i'm going to change the high score maybe to 10 and um, i'm going to do rebirths to five and wins one so remember these values guys they're going to save exactly let me switch back over here so one five and ten 
now guys if we stop and rejoin the game this will go ahead and save so let's quickly do this right now guys and it's going to load in 1510 as you can see over there guys so now we have our values saving which is awesome guys and yeah that's going to be end of today's video here make sure you guys do join my patreon if you guys did struggle there but yeah guys i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out